Hello and a very warm welcome back to the Residual Royalty Academy. I hope that you're doing well and I appreciate you tuning in to watch this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you one of my books that has now reached over a thousand dollars in royalties. So as you can see, this book was launched in October of 2019 and we're now in April 2020. And you can see that's just one book that's a thousand and nineteen dollars in royalties. Now, just to be completely transparent, this is a book that I have contributed a lot of ad spend to. So I've just checked now on my advertising dashboard. I can show you my actual ad spend for this book in another video if you want me to and give you an update about Amazon ads. But I've actually spent $550 advertising this book. So that means my profit on this book is actually only around $500. But either way, I'm still pretty happy with it. And I'm really glad that one of my books has reached the $1,000 mark. So let me now go on to the next tab and we can see the month by month breakdown. So as it started off, it made $77 in October, $110 in November, $153 in December, bit of help from quarter four there, I think, and then it dropped back down to 58. Then it got to 211 in February, 233 in March, and we're only 10 days, oh no, sorry, 11 days into April, and it's already at 174. So I'm really hoping that this book maintains its current BSR of around 3,000 in the UK, uh, and that it will make me $500 in royalties this month. So my ACOS on my Amazon ads for this book has actually come down this month as well. It's down to about 15% for this month for all my UK ads that are running towards this book. So at the moment, it is extremely profitable for me. Just a few more things to add about this book. You can see that almost all the earnings have come from the UK. So it barely ever sells in the US. I think we can go over there. That's probably only one or two sales and maybe one sale in Italy there. And is there any more? No, I think that's it. There's only three marketplaces it's ever sold in. Um, and that just happens sometimes. Sometimes the book just won't take off. And if the BSR is somewhere up in the millions in the USA, then it's just not going to be seen by anybody because it's not going to be on the first page of the search results. So now let me go onto this tab here. Just a few things to explain. So when you get something that works like that book, uh, whether it be a niche a book type, whatever it may be, double down on it and make more similar books. And it's what I'm doing now with this book. So I'm aiming to make at least 15 books that are similar to this one each month, just because I know this works and I know how to make them. I know how to market them effectively. Um, and so it makes way more sense to make these than try something brand new for the minute. But on the other hand, if you've made, let's say 200 planners, uh, you've put similar interiors in them all, you're using similar keywords, you're marketing them all in the same way and they're not selling, then maybe it's time to change something and take a different approach. So you can see the quote down here. If I grab this. If we fail to adapt, we fail to move forward. So sometimes people will message me saying, oh, okay, I've made 500 of these books or 300 of these books and they're just not selling. Well, what I would say is just try something else. If it's not working, you've got to pivot, you've got to adapt and you've got to make sure that you're always testing new things until you find something that works and then you can double down on it and then you can go back to more testing uh, once you've doubled down on that. So as I say, I'm gonna be making a lot more low content books like this one because the success of this one has been so great. So maybe drop a comment below, tell me what you think about the ad spend, see if you think it's too high, or whether you think it's still worth it, having spent almost half the royalties on ads. Of course, I'll keep you updated on this book as it sells throughout April, and hopefully it will reach that $500 mark. But overall, I'm just glad that my first book has hit $1,000 in royalties, and I hope it's maybe a little bit of inspiration for you, so you can get your first book to $1,000 in royalties. Or even if you're not even at $1,000 in total royalties, make sure you get there soon, because once you hit 1,000, then you can get to 5,000, and you can get to 1,000 a month, you can get to 2000 a month and you can even get to 3000 a month. So Ben, the royalty accelerator student and my friend, he's on track for $3,000 this month, which is just absolutely insane. He's got some books that are quite similar to this one uh, and they're really taking off in this current economic and uh, world climate that we're living in. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this quick video. If you made it all the way to the end, drop the tea emoji because I'm drinking some tea right now as I make this video. Uh, and in the next video on Wednesday, I'm going to give you an update as to how my high content book is going because that first one is now launched. So I'm going to tell you exactly how much I've invested on that book and how much money it's made me so far. So I look forward to seeing you in that video on Wednesday. But until then, stay safe, stay inside, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and make sure to subscribe.